Happy Pride! <laughs> Hello, lovers! This is Y, aka Aquaricorn from On the Cusp Tarot. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? Hmm? Where's my coffee? I forgot my coffee. I'll be right back. Boop. I have my coffee. Much better. You're welcome. Boop. How are you today? I am doing great. It is bright early in the morning. I got up and I am excited to do this day four episode of the seven days of pride series. Yes! Can you believe this is day four already? So let's do a mid-week recap, okay? So I've done day one, which is the next world tarot. Day two, the numinous tarot. And day three, the cosmic tribe tarot, which brings us to day four. Four, day four. Are you ready? Because I have to do this to start the show. Let's go. Boop. Maybe I can do it without my hands. Ready? One, two, three. And we are ready. Okay, this deck is actually pretty new. It's released in April of this year, 2019. So it's like two or three months old. Um, so without further ado, here we go. One, two, three. Boop! Yay! The Neo Tarot. Neo, Neo Tarot by Jericho. Mandibar or Jericho Mandibar. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I am horrible, horrible at pronunciation, especially with names. Sorry. Okay, it's created by, I'm just gonna say Jericho. Jericho? Which one should I say? Jericho. Let's do Jericho. Jericho Mandibar and is illustrated by Diana Ruiz. Diana Ruiz. Okay. Right there. Love this. Let's talk a little bit about um, Jericho. Through a couple of the online interviews, I gathered these information. Uh, she is a queer Egyptian slash white cis woman and I Instagram message her and her reply is her pronouns is either she or they. So that's that. Ta-da! And this, this deck, I love this deck so much is because it is so focused on self-care. Self-care. Care, okay, it says here a fresh approach to self care, healing, and empowerment. Okay, Mama, let's read a couple interview on uh, the decks. Okay, Mandy Burr also sees tarot as a fundamentally queer medium and part of her goal in creating Neo Tarot was to envision a tarot deck that was more inclusive of different races, genders, and sexualities. Boop! She also wrote a wonderful article on Bustle.com and titled Neo Tarot Author Jericho Mandibar on queerness, mystic, mysticism, and the connections between the two. A great read. I'm going to include that link down in the description. Click it, read it, enjoy it. So let's look at the deck. 
It comes in a really nice box. Okay, it opens like this, the deck, and the guidebook. One thing I don't quite enjoy about this package is the guidebook is actually attached to the package. And I travel so much, if I do want to bring this on the road, I have to bring this whole thing. I wonder if I can just take out the guidebook and the deck, but I'm so afraid of ruining the book. So I think I'm just gonna leave it be. But I love this book so much, it's because the book is so informative. Okay, let me show you. The book, right, is beautifully colored. Wonderful papers. And the most amazing thing about the this book is every card has the meaning, right? The reversed meaning. And there's a section of self-care. See it? Self-care, meaning, reversed. And the best for me is there is an affirmation quote. See it? An affirmation for each card with the sign and planet, the theme, affirmation. So this is a great, great book. Great book. I am going to read a couple of the notes here. Neo Tarot is about forgiving yourself, cherishing yourself and feeling yourself. Mm -hmm. As well as holding yourself accountable and never shrinking away from growth. Tarot isn't always light and fluffy. If it was, it would be pointless. Likewise, self-care can be difficult. If it wasn't, we'll all be doing it already. You need as much self-compassion as you can muster. Leather it on and let it sink in. Okay, thank you. Yes. Neo Tarot is for everyone. It should be accessible and inclusive. You are simply a person on a journey of self-discovery like everyone else. That's wonderful and it is enough. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the cards are in here. And here's the saying right here. Know thyself. Please know thyself. Know thyself. Ta da! So the back is like this. Okay. No edging. It's white. Like so. Like so. Colorful. Boop. Uh, normal cardstock. It's not shiny. I don't think it's shiny. It's pretty matte. But pretty heavy cardstock. You know what to do. Let's flip it around and look at the cards. We all agree how much we do not like tuck boxes, right? I am so annoyed. Look at it. I literally just got this. Brand new. And two boo-boo already. Ugh, so annoyed. Oh well, nothing I can do. Here we go. The Fool. Magician. I love the movement of this card. The High Priestess. Empress. Emperor. Hierophant. 
the lovers. Look. Inclusive, right? I love it. The chariot. Strength. The hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Woman instead of the Hanged Man. Okay. Death. Temperance. The Devil. Love, love, love. The Tower. Boop. Just like that. The star, the moon, the sun, judgment. I am a dancer myself, and look at it, gorgeous, gorgeous. The movement of it all. The world. Moving on to minors, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three, Four. I love the colors of this deck. Five. Ay ay ay, headaches. Six. Seven, eight, oh, cool. nine, ten. Page, Knight, Queen of Pentacles. Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. I love this card, it's so clever, isn't it? The hair is still blinding the eyes. Love, love. Three of Swords, Four, Five. Ooh. Deceit. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Crying. Oh, too much, too much, y'all. And ten. Dead. Ouch. Page of Swords, the, the pink hair, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. The coloring are so simple but yet so vibrant. Eights of so uh, eights of wands, my suits. Okay, two, three of wands, four of wands. Ah, uh, isn't it beautiful? The dancing of this deck is unreal. Ooh, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
It is very RWS. So if you are familiar with the RWS system, this deck will work perfect. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Excited about this one. Queen of Wands. Fierce, Mama. Fierce. The sunflower, just the way, the, the the gesture, the position, so great, so great, love. King of Wands. All right, lot suits, cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. I love this. You can't really tell who. So. Is pretty inclusive. Thank you so much. Three. Let's have a kiki. Okay. Four. Mm -mm. No. 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 Five. Six. Sorry. Ten. Love, love, love this card. Mm. Simple, but so much love. Page. Cups. Knights of Cups. And Queen of Cups. So much movement. Oh, so, so, so cool. And last one. King of Cups. Ta da! Boop. And. Boop. Girl, wasn't that pretty and pretty special, right? The color palette of this whole deck is just so lovely, so unique. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I will list all her information down below, her website, her Instagram. She actually has a YouTube channel. What? I know. Can you believe? I already, I already subscribed. Thank you so much. So go over there, drop it a like, subscribe. Uh, she does weekly readings. Okay, it's pretty cool. So, day four of the seven days of pride is checked. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please drop it a like and subscribe. And remember to hit the notification bell right over there. Yep, boop. Come back tomorrow for day five and have a fabulous day. Go out there, take a long walk, have a nice bath, drink some tea, do some meditation, be good to yourself. Yes, self-care. Boop! And I will see you tomorrow, lovers.